Hey guys, welcome to my video. In this video, I am going to be doing a review of the Bose Soundlink Revolve. So, um, you guys know already, um, wireless speakers are like really, really convenient uh, to use around the house or anywhere. But um, a lot of a lot of these speakers are pretty much uh, they're directional, meaning they they blast sound out in uh, one particular direction, uh, and and when they do that, they sound great in in particular spots. Um, but uh, Bose and uh, other speaker makers, well, to, to solve this problem, they come up with uh, a 360 degree. Uh, sounding speaker. The Bose Soundlink Revolve uh, has a really, really excellent uh, build quality, and and as always, the Bose sound is amazing, and it crams uh, an, an amazing amount of that into a a speaker that's pretty much a cylinder, uh, and it's one of those speakers where you can take it on the go. Uh, this speaker um, looks kind of similar to the Bose uh, Mini 2, but uh, obviously instead of being uh, rectangular, it's uh, rounded. So it's in a different form. Um, however, uh, just like the Mini 2, uh, this speaker is not waterproof. And uh, it is splash proof uh, it has an ipx4 rating and it would definitely survive sp splashes but if you drop it in a pool or something like that and leave it there for for a while uh you're gonna have issues with the speaker pretty much and that is kind of a kind of a drawback considering the price of this it's about 199 dollars and that's the price point of the speaker um but uh but this speaker, if uh, there's any trade-off with this, is that it sounds a lot more, it, it sounds a lot better than uh, other waterproof uh, speakers. The, the Revolve pretty much takes the, uh, the design of the Soundlink Mini 2, and uh, Bose pretty much made that stretched it into a cylinder shape um, and it it does have a really strong aluminum um, housing which which does come in either silver or black and it also has rubberized a rubberized base and buttons uh, the speaker uh, feels really really well, well made and um, and it should stand up to um, uh, some wear and tear um, if you decide to put in a bag and, and flip keys into your bag and stuff like that it should uh, be, be able to withstand uh, a good amount of wear and tear uh, the buttons uh, for controlling all the features of the speakers is pretty much on top and these buttons include the volume the playback the Bluetooth um, auxiliary and the power button Bose's um, multi-function button pretty much controls everything from music playback to uh, activating um, voice assistants such as uh, Siri and uh, Google Assistant. Uh, the Soundlink Revolve works great uh, as a speakerphone for taking calls. Uh, something similar speakers like the UE Wonder Boom um, uh, really uh, lacks. On the bottom of the speaker, you find uh, a four four pins for for a charging dock and a tripod mount. And it's kind of disappointing that Bose uh, really didn't include the charging dock uh, with with the speaker. And um, you know, like they did with the Mini 2, um, 
while it might seem kind of odd to have uh, a, a tripod mount, uh, it does offer uh, a lot of flexibility for mounting uh, the speaker um, uh, anywhere you guys want to mount it to. Um, Bose also uh, allows you to pair two of these Revolve speakers uh, if you want to use it for uh, uh, for stereo or amplification um, and and it's a pretty neat feature uh, that's pretty pretty much uh, common these days now as far as the sound is concerned uh, this is probably the biggest reason why this speaker beats a lot of uh, other speakers uh, uh, in the market um, and, and it, it does beat uh, the Mini 2, considering uh, this speaker does have uh, omnidirectional sound. Um, with this speaker, you can pretty much um, move anywhere and, and experience the same sound regardless of where you are around the speaker. And this is, this is a great feature for parties um, or, or gatherings where uh, everyone can pretty much uh, listen to the same, uh, have that same listening exper experience uh, regardless of where they are in the room. So, but in terms of volume, uh, the Revolve really does an excellent job of, of pumping music uh, loudly in all directions but however if you do place it at the center of the room uh, the speaker does lack uh, a little bit of bass but uh, you can probably fix that but putting by putting the speaker near walls to help uh, reflect the sounds and increase the bass uh, for whatever you're listening to um, but in general the uh, revolves uh, sonic performance is is um, excellent, uh, especially when you compare it to um, other 360 degree speakers like the UE Wonder Boom, um, uh, where that speaker sounds strained. The Bose um, plays pretty loud and pretty effort effortlessly. Bose also. Uh, the bass response on this uh, also sounds a lot richer and uh, a lot more controlled than, than the Wonder Boom, uh, which features um, a mid forward sound. However, you should take also consider that the Wonder Boom is half the price um, of this uh, Bose speaker. So compare it to the to the older. Soundlink Mini 2, the Soundlink Revolve sounds almost as good, but but not quite as good as the Mini 2. It, it can't match the expansive soundstage and the instrumental separation of the Mini 2. Though um, both these speakers sound uh, absolutely awesome. And uh, you probably won't notice the difference unless you have two of these speakers uh, side by side. Um, compared to the Soundlink Color 2, uh, this uh, the Resolve uh, features uh, more detail and bass response. The 360 degree sound makes uh, the Revolve uh, more suited to listening um, outdoors. Uh, than the one, dire one directional uh, sound of the Color 2. Um, both the Color 2 and the Revolve are IPX4 rated, um, which pretty much means it'll survive you, uh, dr you know, dropping a drink on it or whatever, but you, it probably won't survive you uh, taking it uh, underwater in the pool with you. But compared to the competition, um, the Revolve's battery life is kind of average. 
uh, for a speaker of this size. It pretty much lasts about 12 hours at uh, medium listening volumes. Um, and also, as far as the charging time it is concerned, uh, this speaker takes about four hours to fully charge uh, from empty. So, so, um, but but it would also it would have been nice to see uh, both uh, jump to a USB C for faster charging, but uh, that's not there. The Revolve um, is an excellent uh, sound speaker for anybody who's looking for a uh, a true uh, 360 degree um, experience. It's great if you want to share music um, at a party or for you know moving around a room without losing uh, any um, any audio fidelity. However. Um, the Mini 2 does sound slightly better and is um, it, and it's it is slightly cheaper um, with that so aside from this uh, I will give this speaker a thumbs up uh, if you guys are looking for a speaker where you guys can use um, uh, and and get that 360 degree sound um, it's a thumbs up from me, guys.